Hi there! Dick Von Pat, big time television producer. You probably know my shows, Green Fakers, The Grading Bunch, Tuna Casserole, or my personal favorite, Throw It at Wall and See If It Sticks. I'm on a mission. One of our EPs has a pet pot belly pig, and I need some for the pig's birthday. So, show me what you got. Go! Well, you've definitely come to the right place. My name's Blythe, happy to help you. Don't ever say that to me again! I'm three. I didn't mean to... Not you. Him. Uh-huh. Well, what do you think? I'm talking to you. Oh, well, that's lovely, but um, it's, it's a cat, it's not pigs. And you expect me to go for that? Not you. Listen, call me back when you have a real offer. Blythe, we need you to settle something. Then he thinks he's taller than me. But look, he's holding his tail up for extra height. Well, if you can count the spikes on your head, I should tell. Not now, you two. I'm with a customer. I'm sure he's not with me. We'll have to settle this later. Settle what later? And who are you talking to? Oh, uh, I was just, uh, on the phone. <laughs> like you were. <laughs> what do you know? I don't have your piece in. <laughs> For a second there, I were talking to those pets. As if they could understand you. <laughs> I just had a brilliant idea for a television show. You did? Not you. Gina. A sitcom in which a young girl who works in a pet shop can talk to and understand. Flaherty ensues. We'll call it Tiniest Ever. <laughs> idea for a television show. A young girl hangs out all day with pets, solving their problems and getting into hijinks. And she can't tell anyone about her because they think she's just weird. We won't even need writers. Scripts will write themselves. Okay, since I want to base the characters on you and the pets, I'll need to know everything. Everything? What's this thing? A dumb waiter? Classic sitcom trope. I love it! Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Sitcom rope. Blythe, darling, shot at the big time! A chance for everyone to see my first nails! <laughs> it would be my moment in the spotlight. It's getting out of control. I need to put a stop to it right now. Mr. Von Pat, your television show idea is interesting, but I don't want anyone to think it's based on me. I mean, can you imagine what people would say if they thought I really talked to pets? Like you said it yourself, they would think I was weird. Well, if that's what you're worried about, don't. I'll simply names. Nobody will connect it with you. Oh, well, that's a guess. I see what's going on here. You'd like a role on the show. You want to be a TV star, right? Uh, not really. I kind of got my own fashion design thing going on. Even more perfect. I could give you a shot at this costume. Designing costumes for a real TV? I would love that. But, uh, miss my name won't be used, right? Yes, Lucinda. Um, my name's not Lucinda. Not you, Lou Saxon, star of our show, The Grading Bunch. She's late to the set. Listen, Lucy, I will soon... <laughs> I got a great idea, a television show about this little pet shop I'm in. A television shop? My pet shop? Absolutely. So anyway, how soon can you be on the cameras, Lucinda? My name's Anna. Anna Twomb... Of course it is! Is this going to be one of those reality shows? You could say that! Ooh! When will they start shooting it? Already started. Already started? But I'm not dressed right. I don't care! I want you in front of the cameras right now! Okay, fine. I knew you'd come around. I'll expect nothing less than an amazing performance. Oh, that man is very pushy. Oh dear, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Probably cameras everywhere. Yoo-hoo! Can you cut that part out? Hello? Dick Von Pat here. Oh, hi, Mr. Von Pat. I just finished the designs for the costumes. The pets are gonna look adorable in them. The pets in costume? Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't I tell you? We changed it up. 
pets are going to be played by human actors now. Human actors? Wearing pet costumes! That's where your designs come in. The actors look like pets! It's outrageous! This thing has daytime TV award written all over it. Heck, they should just give it to me. Right now! Yo, I almost forgot why. I've got some great news. We just signed Lola Flana Gaga to stop. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs> A human actor playing me? After playing, oh, this was supposed to be my moment in the spotlight, and now it's ruined. Cheer up, Zoe. Maybe you'll be by someone really good. Of course, it all makes sense. They want the most glamorous actress in the world to play me. And the final nominee, best actress playing a pet, is Lola Falanagaga for her fabulous performance as the even more fabulous. Zoe Trent. Friends, Romans, country paths, perk up your ears. I bury my pet toy not to praise it. And the award goes to Lola Falaga and Zoe Trent. <laughs> Pet shop where we cater to pet, not sell them. I am your host, Mrs. Twombly. Well then, customer with a dog. I'll bet you'd like to see dog department. <laughs> we at this pet shop like to charm our customers with humor. Hi there, Dick Von Pat. I'm television producer, and I've got some bad news for you. You're fired. What? Not you. For you, I've got great news. The network has given me the green light. Tiniest Animal Store. Based on <gasps> real life of a girl who works at a small pet shop? You can't say that. I don't want anyone to think the show is based on me. If you don't want that stuff on there, I'll take it right out. And it's gone. We had... <sighs> yeah, we're good. Sorry I overreact. Yeah, you're creative. Overreacting is in your job description. Just so you know, I'm gonna bring Lola and the rest of the cast over here later so can mirror their subjects. You know, follow you and the pets around and study you close. Well, it might be kind of crowded with so many actors day camp. No, it won't be that many. Because of budgetary reasons, we'll only be able to have three pet characters in the show. We're gonna go with the monkey, the hedgehog, and the gecko. But that's not fair! The other pets! That's showbiz! Okay, Jimmy. Why? There must be some kind of mistake. Lola was supposed to be playing me. If character isn't in the show, who is she playing? Mr. Von Pat, which pet is Lola Falana Gaga gonna play? Uh, she's not playing a pet. Lola's playing you. No, not you, Jimmy. Calm down. Oh, there's a customer now. Woo! It's our producer, Dick Von Pat. Welcome to Littlest Pet Shop. How much longer is the show going to continue? It's a little tiring. Um, I'm not sure. I look so far. Am I coming off nicely? <gasps> Maybe I should do a little demo kung fu quilting. <laughs> Lola, Gary, Bob, Zell, this is Blythe and the Pets. Now, since you will be playing them in our show, I want you to get a good sense of what they're all really like. Why do they need to get to know us if they're not really playing us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the act you. They're here to observe the things a non-specific girl and some generic pets would do. Now pretend they're not even here. I'll be back later! I was just a comedy if I... Yeah! And everyone loves to see cute characters in 6 2 Hmm, so true, Penny Ling, which is shocking that they left me out as well. Obviously, they don't know what they're doing. No, no, no need for sour grapes. After all, they did a pretty good my role. Handsome, rugged, leading man with the exact tough guy quality with the real me. It moved! Ah! Really? Look, I'm trying to come off as thoughtful and smart. <laughs> I think it's working. Geckos are boring. Uh, boring! He's got the wrong idea! Perhaps you should do uh, some of your signature dance moves! Great idea! Oh, 
Geckos are clumsy. Geckos like to eat mongooses. <laughs> to go inside there. <laughs> Nonsense. It's my method. I must experience everything the character I'm playing has experienced. So, you are an artist. Actually, uh, wow, these are really good. You have genuine talent, which is great for me. I adore playing talent. <laughs> now, I've got a million questions to ask you, Blythe. Artie, what's your favorite food? What nightclubs do you hang out in? I can't go to nightclubs. I'm just a kid. A kid? I'm playing girl. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> of course I'm playing a girl because I still look so young. Young, don't I? I mean, for my age, which you do not need to know. Do you have any concealer? My actor's afraid of his own... My things ain't my kisses. My actress is gonna permanently... What are you three complaining about? At least you get to be in it. We can talk about this later. Right now I'm here with Lola. It's like you really do talk to the pets. Very thin. Oh, no. I, 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 I just... Well, this is going to be amazing. I could win awards for this role. Blythe Baxter. Oh, there you are, Lola. Quick, we need you down at the studio in five minutes for a thing. Costumes? Oh, that reminds me. Here are signs. I hope you like them. Yeah, they're great. Oh, the network execs read the final draft. Now there's some things that bump them, and we have to hit it hard with the button, but in J. 